Hey everybody, it's Brandon here, my best one. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3 Heart Run. In the last episode, we began uh, Ganon's Castle. We knocked out the water part, the shadow part, and then we knocked out the spirit part, which is all the way over here. So today, we're just going to knock out the other three um, medallions, I guess you could call them. So we're just going to knock out the, the other three rooms, and then will be set for the episode so as, as you guys can see I was able to get some bombs <laughs> man that was just terrible last episode especially what happened in here where that bemos I think that's what they are um freaking zapped me when I was least expecting it too because he zapped me while I was down there and I had no bombs so I mean I was pretty much screwed all right so let's do that there, so much easier. Oh, hey, you dropped some bombs too. I'll take that. Alright. And I believe if you do fall off, you gotta redo the whole entire room. So, be extra careful. There's no time limit, so just take your time. Unless you're like some skilled speedrunner. Like I am! Alright, make it over here. There we go. The one I'm mainly worried about is that last one over there, because that's the one that I always used to get me when I was younger. Probably just because of my stupidness. Oh! Not gonna get me this time, bitch! Alright, so, that definitely went smoother than the last time when we tried that. Whew. So, alright, shoot this. Forest barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, Broden! <laughs> Four down, two more to go. Hell yeah! Alright, so which one is the closest? Doesn't matter. <laughs> so we're just gonna knock out the light medallion room now just because I don't want to do the fire one yet because that is such a pain in the ass for me at least so now that, now that we have the golden gauntlets what a badass cuz I'm a badass Alright, let's do this. Oh. So yeah, I like how they did the light <clears throat> medallion one. Which, whoa, let's not use that. Which is why I think there should have been a temple for the light medallion. Because <laughs> they did this pretty damn good. Not gonna lie. So. Alright, so yeah, all those chests, they're fake. I think, I think if you open them up in... A monster will come out, so <clears throat> we're not even gonna bother doing that. We'll just get the key and we'll proceed through the door. Oh, alright. Ocarina Man. So, this is probably the easiest room in this whole entire. Oh. This is probably the easiest room in this whole entire area of the game. I mean, you look at these puzzles, like, especially, especially this one. <sighs> and that that's all you do. So, and there's a key. It's like, come on, Nintendo, you could have done better. But then we get to this room. <laughs> All right. So we have a small time limit, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Especially when you like to play through games fast already. So a time limit does not affect me, as you can see. But even after you, oh god, yeah, even after you do, um, get all the rubies, you need to get to the door before time runs out. But again, it's not... Where's the thing? 
Oh no, Nintendo, you fooled me. Oh shit. Okay, fuck that. So we just head through. We just head through the door. Or that invisible wall, and then we get to this room. And it's the same exact thing. The light barrier is dispelled. Hurry! All right, so now we have one final room, and it is the fire medallion room. I have no clue what to call these rooms, so. <laughs> Mainly because of this room. And, fun fact, if you're wearing the your nor normal boots on this platform, the platform will sink. So you have to use the hover boots in this. And I'm fucked already. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> So yeah, if you do land in the lava, that's a one-hit kill, even if you are, um, even if you are wearing the hover boots, or, not, not the hover boots, the fire tunic, Goron tunic, whatever, same exact thing! <laughs> Alright, Link, pick up that rock, ah, I love these golden gauntlets, they're so freaking cool. <laughs> Now we just got two more. I think somebody told me that that you, you can hook shot to. Oh no, maybe it was just to stun them or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that definitely works a little bit better. All right, I think we can hover to this, but we need. I'm so fucked already. Let's hover boots, man. Oh my god, how did I do that? I don't even know. <laughs> What's the last coin? Or er, coin. Ruby. Oh, it's probably over there. Well, shit. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> I have no clue how I was able to save myself, but I did. So give me some credit. Oh god, don't get hit by that. Cause if you get hit by that, I'm pretty sure it's gonna knock you off the freaking platform. That's just how Nintendo is sometimes with people. Such assholes. But I do think that this is the only room of this area, so it's definitely not it's too, too difficult. Yep, indeed it is. So, let's just break the pots. Give me some unneeded magic power. And the fire barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, brother! Brother! <laughs> Boom. So that is the last room. And that, oh, wait a minute, I forgot about this cutscene. <laughs> Alright then, so, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and in the next part, we will climb up again and get... Ganon's Tower. So, until next time, this is Brian Tanuki, signing out. Peace.